Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced React WordPress Theme Development. In the previous episode, we learned about how to create this search page and we'll continue with our development from where we left. So, so far we have gone ahead and developed a search page by creating a, by creating a file called search.js inside of the pages and we've got header and footer and we've got the search box component. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to create the search form. So, so far, if I go to the search page, search, you can see that you've got find your needs, which is basically coming from the search box. That's the heading, find your needs. And you've got some gradient and stuff. So let's create the search form. So what I'm going to do is let's keep things isolated and uh, wrapped inside of components. Uh, so I'm going to create an another file and I'll name it as search form. So let's do that. Const search form equals arrow function return an empty string for now. Export default search form. Okay. And I'm just going to include that here. So let's say search form and I'm just going to import that on top so I'll say import search form All right there are three things that we need uh, first is when we create the input field we want to be able to uh, manage the state of that and when we create the form we want to be able to have a function uh, that allows us to handle the form submit right so what i'm going to do is i'll come over here inside of the page and i'm going to create a variable and i'll name it as search query okay and i'll that'll be set search query that'll be use state so i'll use i'll use the use state hook and I'll set that to as empty for the moment and then import use state from react okay and then similarly I'll create a function I'll name it as handle search form submit okay and let's just return null for now from here all right, and I would also need to pass all of these three things to my search box. So I'll say search query, set search query, and handle form submit. <clears throat> the reason I'm placing uh, this functionality of handle form submit and set search query inside of the page component so that when other components come in, like load more or uh, if I want to show some info as to how many results as to how many results are there for the search, we can pass all of the re relevant information there, right? Okay, so let's go to search box and again, I need to pass all of these three things there, right? So I'm just going to go ahead, go over here, paste it, and then I'm just going to pull those things here, right? Oops. Search query set search query and handle form submit and I'm also going to use the prop type so import prop types from prop types and then at the bottom I'm going to say search box dot prop types equals so there are three things that we need which, is, which are these I'm going to paste that there and just replace this with prop types dot so this is going to be a string and then similarly this will be prop types dot string again place comma oops comma and then this is going to be a function so I'll say prop types dot func all right and then similarly we need to set default props so we'll say default oops default props so search query, let's keep it empty. And set search query is a function. So let's do 
return null. Uh, let's update this to a function. This is also a function. Okay, and then this is also a function. So I'm just going to copy this. All right, perfect. So we have, we have our uh, prop types available. So we know for sure that what is it that the component is expecting, okay? And again, we need to pass all of these three things to my search form component. All right, so I'm going to pass that. And same thing, I'm going to use the prop types there as well. So I'll just copy this because it's the same thing. <clears throat> all right, and I'm just going to replace the search box with search form. Now, if you're wondering why did I not handle everything in this component, why did I create a separate component called search form? Well, the reason for this is because uh, we're going to need to show the um, search form over here in the nav bar as well. And we're going to need a search form here as well. So this is containing the container, the heading, all of that stuff. But that one, the one that shows on top in the nav bar doesn't need to have everything. That's why I've created separate components. All right. What we need to do is we need to create a form. So I'm going to say form. I'll remove the action. This will just be on submit handle on form submit. Let's just quickly go back to our handle form submit and say event dot prevent default. Okay, because we don't want the form to be submitted directly. We want to handle it ourselves. All right, so coming back to the search form inside of this, I'm going to create a class name. And I'm going to add some of the classes. So let's just do that. And then inside of this, we'll have a div. All right. And then inside of this div, I'll place some classes for styling. And then we have span. We basically want the search icon. Okay, inside of this, we'll have class name. All right, and then we want to have the search icon. So I'm going to need to have an SVG. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my code, go to icons, SVG, create a file called search icon dot SVG. And I'm going to paste this code. So basically, if you want to get all of this code, by the way, it will be available on GitHub. You just need to go to GitHub slash Imran Sayyad next year's headless WordPress and go to the YouTube tutorial like this one. And then just go to front end source. Okay, and then you will get all of the components, all of the icons, all of that information. Okay, so you can take it from there. So we've got the SVG here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run CD front end. I'm going to run npm run SVG. So this is going to create an SVG component for us. So as you can see, it's created the icon slash search icon dot JS and it's sourced that from the search icon SVG. So it's sourced that from here and it's created this component, right? So I'm just going to use that. So I'll say search icon from search icon and then I'm going to add some classes so I'll say class name equals okay so that's my search form and now if I go and see okay so that's my search so that's my search icon now I'm going to put an input field so I'll say input type equals text, type equals text, and then placeholder will be search dot dot dot. And then value is going to be the search query because when we do the set search query, we can use the set search query to change its value. And then on change event on change equals a function that will contain event 
and then it'll be set search query and this function is basically going to use our use state and we're going to pass the event dot target dot value okay so inside of our search dot js which is our page component we have the set search query which is using the use state initial value is empty and when we do the set search query is going to take the event dot uh, target dot value and is going to set the value of that input field to whatever you're typing okay all right and then i'm going to pass some of the class name properties so again i'll pass this property and then i'll go and check there you go congratulations you've got the search form you've got okay and then you just need to change this to set search query not search query okay so there you got you you've got the search form and now if i just console the search query you see what happens right i'm going to open this up and if i type something i'm going to zoom it in hello you can see that it's being typed all right which is brilliant so congratulations we've created our uh, search input field and in the next video we will continue further and we will continue with building of the functionality for search all right so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already do start my repository uh, to support my work like all the other 145 people have and i'm going to see you in the next video thank you very much